Hi, welcome to my new series. I'm here to teach you stuff about After Effects and how you can use it to create easy animations because, you know, we're working smarter, not harder. This was a long title, <laughs> but it kind of sums it up for you. So if you don't know, I do most of my editing compositing work in After Effects and I've been receiving a lot of requests about how should I make a tutorial of some kind so that more people could hop into the program. But what you might not know is that After Effects can also help you create quick animations. By quick animation, I mean a few clicks away from making your character move. And that would be a tool that is called Puppeting Tool. Some people have heard of it before, but majority probably don't, so I'm here to showcase it and show you how to use it to create animation at the speed of light. Before I start my animation tutorial, I would like to give a shout out to Wondershare team. They have decided to sponsor this video and I want me to let you know about their screen recording program, Demo Creator. It comes with powerful editing options to help you add fancy effects to your recorded video and better share your knowledge skills, which can be used for education, creating gaming videos, or you're just looking to record your screen for speed paints. And if you're not comfortable using your face, you could always use facial effects feature, which allows you to replace your face with an existing character. And that's only, only half of what Demo Creator provides in their software. Don't forget SVX Store, Transitions, Stickers. You can also directly export your videos into YouTube, so that makes it even easier for you. So I am definitely encouraging you to get Wondershare Demo Creator, especially if you've been on the lookout for a specific recording software that pretty much provides everything you need. So I will be linking Demo Creator in the description so that you'll be able to find it. As our sponsor segment ends, I'd like to get into After Effects animation tutorial. So if you aren't aware, I've been using this feature in After Effects since, you know, day one in multiple videos by mixing up both puppeting tool and tweeting or just wanting to make my own PNG drawing feel less static. So if you're not familiar with After Effects, this is a puppeting tool. It's a pin icon over here. But before I select it, make sure to upload PNG drawing of any kind. I'll be using my own art to showcase what you can do as you import your drawing into the timeline, you have to select the pen tool and you click on multiple areas of the PNG drawing. Imagine as if you're building a stickman or a skeleton that you're able to control later on. So what now? Well, you should be paying attention to your timeline and the effects area that says Puppet. Make sure to click Mesh and then Deform. Now you should be able to view multiple puppets. Each one of them represents the yellow dots that you can see on your drawing. When you click one of them, it turns into a keyframe that you can adjust or move. For example, right now I want my character to move his head, so I'll be moving forward in the timeline. I should go back to the image and move the yellow pin in any direction I want. When you click play, his head starts moving, but it still kind of looks, you know, stiff, unnatural. So I do this trick as well. I go back to the timeline, click my pins, so it becomes an adjustable keyframe. I select both of those keyframes and click Graph Editor. You get to see these lines. They represent keyframe flow, aka is in, is out, and such. As you select them, you want to click F9. And when you go back to play it, it looks much better. With this feature, possibilities are endless, and I could go on and on on what you can do and what you can do, you know, just endless possibilities. With the pin tool, you can use it to save time, make your PNG drawings smooth without you actually animating from scratch. I feel like I could go in depth on how you can use this feature in a more advanced way, but I'm not sure how many people would actually want to see that. Besides that, I know many people have been requesting tutorials on how I make 3D rooms for animations, which I could also provide, but we shall see. I hope I was able to help you learn a bit of After Effects and how you can pretty much save your time with a puppet tool. Oh gosh, this is a long video. <laughs> I'm not used to making long videos, to be honest. Okay, so I won't be torturing you anymore as this video has finally come to an end. Hope you'll be having a great day or great night, great evening, maybe morning, or maybe you're just stuck in time. I don't know. I guess have a nice time while you're stuck in the matrix. <laughs> Bye.